And it's always a little confusing to explain to new people joining a business that has a binary network marketing build. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a drawing to kind of give you a little bit of an insight of how it takes place. So as a brand new business partner into a binary system, it is very confusing to try to figure out how this works in terms of how do you make uh, bonuses or the, the payment plan or structure that the company has set forth. So what I want to explain for you is just maybe a little bit of an idea of how it all works when you are building a binary system and how that works with other di uh, distributors or coaches or reps, whatever you want to call them, being added to your downline. Because again, it is confusing. And you know what? It's not going to make sense until you start making money and start building a little bit of the business. And then all of a sudden, it just clicks. So you can see how that works with adding coaches as well as personally sponsoring coaches and how that works with you being in a business with the upline adding coaches. So here we go. So to explain this effectively for a binary system, again, the business structure that I'm talking about right here is the Teen Beach Body network marketing business. And um, basically what I will have, what I will do is with a brand new coach that joins the business with me, what I have them do is draw the letter lowercase y. And now that is basically going to teach them the structure of how we're connected. After they draw that letter Y, I have them spin the page around, and so now it's an up down, upside down letter Y. At the top point of the business structure, this is where I'm going to have them draw a, a big circle, and then at this little juncture in between the two uh, of the Y, I'm going to have them draw another circle. So what this explains is, for a binary system, there's always what's considered a strong leg and a weak leg. So to give that example of what this means is me, I would be the coach that is signing on my new coach. So this would be the new coach. Okay, that little point right there. So in a binary system, whenever someone is signed up, you have to decide, are they going to go in the right leg or the left leg? So if this is the left leg, and if this was my right leg, it would be over here. But because I signed my new coach up in the left leg, this is now their right leg, and this is their left leg. So because I signed the new coach up in my left leg, their left leg is the same leg. It's, it's like a three-legged race. We're connected. So that means that this leg of theirs, the new coach's leg, is going to be the strongest volume leg right here. Because whenever I add people to the business or whenever my other coaches that I have in my business add people to the business, they're going to show up in what's called the downline and they're going to start to deposit in that side here. So to draw it out again so it's a little bit cleaner for you to see after I did all that little bit of drawing. Again, so that would be me and this juncture right here is my new coach. So since I told them, since we are connected at the hip by one solid leg, that means again, every time I add people to the business in that side, as well as those other coaches that are already on board before that one came in, they add people in, it's gonna go in what's called the downline organization. As the new coach, if you want to build your other leg, so again, if this is their right leg, and this, sorry, this is their left leg, the only way this leg is going to build in volume is by the contribution and work start working point of one person. And if you think about it, where does this leg start from? It starts from this dot right here, who is this guy right there. So if I'm going to help you with one leg, you really have to build this leg for volume. This has nothing to do with coach rank. So if you're trying to fix volume, you really have to make sure that you just keep sponsoring in that leg. So now you as the new coach, looking at your business structure, here you are. This is your solid system right here. You're the new coach. And when you want to move rank, you at least need to have one person put in your one leg and the other person put here in the other leg. 
and that would then make you be able to move up to the next rank level, which is Emerald. Both of these, all three of these people have to have a point value of 50 points at least on product, okay? So if everybody, say for instance, got on Shakeology, 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 you are Emerald. But remember, I said if you were connected by my virtual connection here, this leg is going to constantly keep getting volume points, volume points, volume points, even though you just have one coach here. So my recommendation is sign up your one coach in that strong leg that you're connected with on your upline. Find out which leg that is with the person that signed you up. And then from that point forward, go over here and start sponsoring all your other coaches in this other leg to start heavying up the bank of volume for that side. Because this one's going to automatically get upline support for volume, not rank. So my rule of thumb is this. Always go for rank, then volume. Rank, then volume. When you do that, you're going to build a strong income as well as residual income in your business. So always go for rank first. That's getting to Emerald. And then once you get to the Emerald rank, then start to fix volume. So the volume problem is going to be that your one weak leg is going to stay weak unless you start putting people there. And those people start putting people there. Heavy that up because this one is going to stay strong. And keep building until you've got a lot of people over here. Then transition, sacrifice some more people over on that side to move rank. Again, always go rank, then fix your volume. Then you move into the next rank. You're almost there. Hit that rank, then go back to fixing volume. And that's going to build your business.